Hi, this is Oliver Lucanus from Below Water. Today we will have a look at snails. To make this a bit more fast paced, snails in this video may appear faster than you would expect, because video has been sped up to fit more snail track into a short film. Nerite snails are usually kind of nice looking, but I think Vrita virginea is our mollusk of the year. These small nerites are from pinky nail to thumbnail sized when adult. They are found from the southern US across the Caribbean and down the Atlantic coast of Brazil, in clear freshwater creeks but also in some brackish and mangrove habitats. Odd that despite the huge distribution we almost never see them in the aquarium hobby. As with other nerites, each snail looks slightly different, but the virgin nerites don't just change their pattern, they also change their color. They can be red and black spotted, yellow chevron patterned, black with white spots, have a stripe down the middle, or show bright orange spots. Nerites in general can live in a wide variety of water parameters, in fresh water to pure salt water, but they do need clean water and slightly alkaline pH to maintain their shells. If your pH and hardness are too low, the shells will develop pits and fall apart. The temperature has to be anywhere from 18 to 27 degrees centigrade or 65 to 82 Fahrenheit. In warmer water in the summer, they will occasionally climb out of my aquarium. In nature, they eat algae and in the aquarium, they are excellent algae eaters, but do not seem to damage any plants. If there's not enough algae, they eventually learn to go to sinking algae tablets. In nature, these snails undergo a mass migration upstream in their habitats. They do breed in the estuaries though, and I do not think that this species has been reproduced in the aquarium, and I assume they will need to be in a marine or very brackish environment to lay eggs. Nerites have sexual reproduction, unlike the Malaysian life-bearing snail for example. Reef aquarists frequently get Nerita species laying eggs in their aquariums. I think this species is the nicest looking freshwater snail I've seen, and they are quite hardy. The eight snails in this aquarium are living together for six months and have now doubled their size. Amazing to think that this is an animal described by Carl Linnaeus in 1758 and is so rarely seen in the aquarium. If you have a chance to get these amazing mollusks for your community aquarium, don't wait. Make sure to share our videos and subscribe to this channel. Check out our other videos from fish habitats around the world. Reproduce some content in German and have a separate channel in Japanese.